Hi everybody, this is Cindy from Ideas Times 2 and welcome back to our channel. I am super excited today to share this project with you and uh, you may recognize, uh, recognize it because we did a couple of, well three tutorials on how to make the cover, the outside and the inside and how to attach things to the hinge hinges. Um, uh, but I finally finished it uh, inside and out and I'm ready to share it with you today. And this is not a flip through. This is not something that's going into our shop. This is not just me, you know, sharing, um, you know, what I, what I did. I made this project as the giveaway to celebrate our 1000th subscriber. We are super, super excited uh, that we have reached this milestone. We've worked really hard in order to accomplish this goal. And to celebrate, we wanted to give away something pretty awesome. So we're giving away this lap book. And uh, if you've watched any of the tutorials, you know it's pretty big. Um, it measures uh, eight and a half inches wide, uh, 11 inches tall, uh, two inches wide at the spine. And um, when you flip it open, uh, it is 32 inches from one hard cover end to the other hard cover end. Um, but when you flip out all the flips, it actually measures out to be um, about four feet from one end to the other. It's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited. So uh, let's take a look inside and um, and and see what we're we're giving away today. Well, giving away next week, right? Um, so uh, the lap book is. Come on, Lucy, out of the way is um, you know pretty standard opens um, here and you can um, and then just keeps opening so let's take a look at this side first and you may recognize this from one of the tutorials and um, over here on the inside of uh, the left side cover uh, are a couple of pockets and on the inside of the pockets there are some large um, coffee stained index cards with just a little bit of collaging on them and uh, both uh, pockets have uh, the same thing they're not identical of course the pictures and images are a little different the collaging is a little different um, but that's uh, what I've tucked away on the inside of the front cover these um, pockets are, are nice and big um, so you can um, Oh, sorry, sorry for the jiggling. Um, they're almost eight inches by um, about five inches, and there's plenty of room inside to add things, uh, store your own things. And um, here's the, the first flip, and on the front cover, this uh, envelope flips up, and on, underneath it, there's a little pocket with a tag, and inside the envelope, there is uh, an altered, um, time card and the little birds on that um, show up in uh, the envelope uh, the envelopes window uh, right there and then behind it uh, there's room to add a few more things and I have um, kept it closed with just this little bulldog clip and uh, here's a nice big pocket that I just made. Um, I thought this image was just too pretty to um, to cut down, so I didn't. Um, I just put it on there um, and made this little note, um, this little notebook, and a little pocket there on the front with a little collage tag, and that goes in there. And then if we flip it this way, here's another flip. It flips up, and the um, many of the images in here are. Edith Holden, and there are a lot of um, uh, Audubon uh, images as well, including uh, this one. And so this flips up, and inside, um, you know, the envelope, you can just uh, take out that journaling card, and that just slides back in there. And of course, underneath it, there's another little pocket with a tag, and. Then here down on the bottom is uh, another pocket and I just have put some little fold outs in there 
um, and it says amenable on the card. And over on this side is another flip and underneath is um, a little, um, a little, uh, Um, a little uh, journaling spot and that flips and of course there's another tag down here on the bottom this one flips down and uh, there's another little mushroom uh, book in there and that flips back up and then if you flip it this whoops that we saw that one already and so then uh, here's where it starts to get a little trickier this opens up and is just um, a little uh, coffee stained paper on there but then uh, this envelope uh, flips as well and inside I've put some little book pages some um, from a little mushroom book that I have and that goes there and then another uh, little tiny little journal uh, that I made that goes in this pocket and a couple of tags in this one and then it flips again and here's a nice big pocket and I've put some um, pages from a uh, typing instruction book from I think maybe the 1960s I tucked those in there along with an advertisement for a, a vintage typewriter um, here is another flip and inside there are some bird book pages from the Audubon book and here's another book page right there so you can see this flips like crazy um, flips up and out and over and and, um, and to keep it all from getting out of hand uh, that's where the bulldog clip comes in so if we flip it this way um, uh, to the next uh, next section um, here this is a, a small um, a small plate page and it has um, a, a bag that has a um, Tim Holtz card on it with some actually two of them two um, Tim Holtz uh, cards and then they have spots for journaling on the back and those go in this little bag and that flips up and it just shows the map of Australia and if you flip that here's a little notebook and this comes out so you can replace it if it gets full and it has all different kinds of papers on the inside uh, this does not this is not a flip but this one has a a big card in here and it has a pocket so you can add some things and then this uh, is another journaling card there and I may put something in that pocket for you I haven't decided if I'm going to fill that one yet but um, this is a is a pocket and when you flip that on this side it has a um, two big cards uh, journaling cards well a card and a tag um, a big tag it's hard to keep this all in frame there's it's it's big it's huge um, here we have another flip and with the tag here a little card here and another um, altered time card right here and then we flip this here's a tiny little tag over here the sunflower I didn't want to cover up this page so I didn't I just put a tiny little tag down here on the bottom uh, here we have another flip uh, that's made from two Edith Holden uh, book pages and on the inside there are uh, some some cards um, with coffee stained paper on the back and then another huge card for journaling uh, tucked in here and I used um, some very old um, ledger paper here I believe this is from 1939 so that flips there and then we flip this back and then we flip this over and then to the other side it opens up uh, to a journal and actually I don't know if you can see that I'm kind of in the shadows um, there are there's a place for two um, journals and it does include two journals um, although I have just the one in here right now 
and uh, the inside of the journal is just kind of random uh, papers, uh, book pages, coffee stained paper, and the coffee stained paper is super grungy. Uh, there's a map, some Edith Holden, some uh, Oliver Wendell Holmes, uh, an eco print, a little bit of everything, some uh, vintage um, ledger from 1939, um, Octagon Chestum, Cheatum, I bet it's Cheatum, Octagon Cheatum um, is the, the name on there. And there's a little flip, some scrapbook paper, Oliver Wendell Holmes, some of these beautiful Audubon images. And then the rest is just the other side of all of that. And I, uh, this is in here, uh, Traveler's Notebook style, so you can just take it out when it's full. Or if uh, you don't want to keep it in here, it just slides right out. Uh, the other one um, has a yellow cover, and um, that will come along with this. Um, here in the middle of the back, we have um, a little file folder pocket, and it's got some uh, trading cards, artist trading cards in there. Um, all um, And I, I did not embellish them. I... Uh, left them pretty plain. If you want to uh, embellish them, um, you can. And this is magnetized. Um, here's some long tags. And I didn't embellish these either. Uh, the back is coffee stained paper and the front is some um, uh, gorgeous Tim Holtz paper. And I didn't embellish the tags, but I did embellish the pockets. So that's that page. Then if we keep going, Uh, the last section is another fold out, but this one is a um, an ephemera folder, and so it just opens um, twice. And so here um, on the, I guess technically the back, uh, there are two pockets with some uh, collage tags. If you open it up, um, the pockets are full of all different kinds of things, um, some book pages, some tags, some envelopes, uh, embellished envelopes, and uh, card catalog cards with um, little collage journaling cards in there. And uh, some vintage vocabulary flashcards down here on the bottom. And on this side, um, on the other side, uh, some more vintage vocab cards, uh, some envelopes, some of these nice big, I guess you, um, you can use them for journaling. I've got some little spots here on the front and the back, um, but I left the stitching on there because I just think they're, I think they're awesome. And uh, some little envelopes. These are from, um, oh gosh, uh, I cannot remember where I got, where I got the envelopes, but um, I down, uh, I downloaded them and um, I mounted them on a paper bag and so those are in there and just all sorts of stuff I put in these pockets uh, some of them are things for you um, to use uh, to make things and some are already made uh, you know envelopes to fill up to use in your journals and then we flip that out of the way and you see on the back side of it it has a gusseted pocket and uh, in the back of it is another another tuck spot I put some library um, card catalog cards in there and some stamps in a glassine bag 
and when you open it up on the inside it's just full of goodies in there uh, there's different supplies tags and tickets and and whatnot and I'm not going to go through that whole thing save that a surprise in case you win it so you have um, a few surprises uh, here's another uh, flip uh, made with the Edith Holden pages and has two big cards on the inside and the last uh, inside cover has um, pockets with tags and um, these are coin envelopes and uh, each of them has a similar tag on the inside, as you can see. And I mean, that's a ton of stuff. I mean, <laughs> this book is huge. It is huge, 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 um, and huge and full. So um, this is what we were giving away to celebrate our 1,000th subby. And so in order to be qualified to, um, to win, uh, first you need to make sure you're a subscriber. So please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, second, give this video a thumbs up. And third, please make a comment and um, let us know what your favorite uh, themes for journals are, if you have a theme. Um, I really like botanicals and animals, although uh, journals, the journal I'm starting uh, next is going to be Wizard of Oz. So I have a lot of different um, interests and my, I just, um, put an Edgar Allan Poe journal in our Etsy shop and almost done with another Edgar Allan Poe because I love literature so I couldn't even pick one <laughs> one one kind but uh, what are you interested in what are your favorite kinds of themes for journals uh, what do you like to make what do you like to write in um, and uh, what would you like to see uh, more of uh, so that's all you need to do make sure you're a subscriber and give us a thumbs up and then please um, write a comment and let us know what your favorite themes for journals are. Easy peasy, right? Um, I will um, draw next Saturday and uh, what is the date on Saturday? Uh, today's the 13th. So... Saturday is uh, the 19th. So on the 19th um, in the afternoon, um, I will hopefully be able to get a video uploaded then. So you have until the 19th. So easy peasy. Thank you so much for watching and taking a look at this awesome lap book that I um, just finished. And uh, Betsy... Um, uh, both Betsy and I made this one. We don't often, we're not often in the same place at the same time to be able to work on projects together, but both of us had a hand in this one. So thank you so much. Have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.